Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Renita Young here to take you through today's market action. So let's take a look at where markets closed to end Monday. The S&P 500 fell 1.3%. The Dow closed 8 tenths of a percent lower. The Nasdaq 100 ended down 2%. And the Russell 2000 dropped 1.4%. Now taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors on the day, just one of the 11 S&P 500 sectors ended higher, consumer staples. Energy, tech, and communication services were the biggest losers on the day. Now looking at some stocks on the move, Berenberg made a few ratings and price target adjustments for vehicle stocks. Tesla fell 6% despite Berenberg upgrading the stock from a hold to a buy, the firm did, however, cut Tesla's price target from $255 to $200 a share. Berenberg downgraded General Motors from a buy to a hold and cut the price target from $45 to $41 a share. The stock closed down 4%, and Berenberg cut Ford's price target from $14 to $13 a share after the company cut the price of its electric Mustang Mach-E in the U.S., Shares ended down nearly 3%. Johnson & Johnson fell nearly 4% today after a judge ruled that it cannot use bankruptcy in the 38,000 lawsuits alleging its talc-based baby powder products caused cancer. The judge dismissed the case of J&J's subsidiary LTL Management, which J&J created in 2021 to move the lawsuits to bankruptcy court. It's a tactic that J&J &J and other profitable companies have used so they could move huge personal injury cases into Chapter 11 bankruptcy without going through the primary company. And SoFi Technologies rose nearly 13% after earnings beat expectations and giving first quarter and full year 2023 guidance above analyst estimates. The company also says it expects to be profitable on a gap basis by the fourth quarter of this year. Let's look at what to watch for tomorrow. Tuesday, the FHFA and Case-Shiller Home Price Indexes come out at 9 a.m. Eastern, while Chicago PMI is out at 945 and Consumer Confidence at 10 a.m. Then the Fed begins the first of its two-day policy meeting. It's also a busy day for earnings. Pre-market, we'll hear from ExxonMobil, GM, McDonald's, Caterpillar, and UPS. Post-market, AMD, EA, Match Group, Snap, and Western Digital Report. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Renita Young, and remember to tune in 24-7 to tdameritradenetwork.com.